Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Kai Zemit. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the south of the UK. And today in this video, we're going to be checking out our very first TV show on the channel. And that is the Avatar The Last Airbender. And this is the Netflix show that we're looking at. Normally on the channel, I cover gaming cinematics and we break those down. But thanks to the support of the patrons, we are now able to cover long form content. So that's TV shows and movies. And speaking of the Patreon, that is the only place you're going to be able to see my full reaction of this TV show. So if you want to hear all my thoughts and opinions from beginning all the way to the end and the reaction, now you know where to go to see that. I'm really excited about this one. I know nothing of Avatar or The Last Airbender. I've never seen it. I've heard loads of it. I know it's a TV show, it's a cartoon or an anime or some description, and there's movies of it. But this is going to be my very first outing in this world. So yeah, let's go, shall we? Play the tape. Oh, in partnership with Nickelodeon. So I was right, it was like a uh, Nickelodeon cartoon. I know nothing of this franchise. So as I said in the intro, this is gonna be my first introduction to this world. It looks like that fireball, it had like a, a bit of a sweet melody to it. Probably had something, is that foreshadowing something later? And then it went dark now. It's got that Americanized color palette, isn't it? Lots of teal and orange. And it's not super shaky that you can't see what's going on. It's got that subtle shake. Oh shit. Oh, they can. Oh, they've all got superpowers. Oh, that was cool. Earthbender. Well, it makes sense. An earthbender. Oh, what? The others are firebenders. Oh, mate, you went fucking flying. Do you know what? For live action, this don't look half bad, does it? I like that. Nyorsi's, no. whatever the fuck those things are, that's not. That's looking good and all, isn't it? To the Earth King to go and start a war. Oh, he sacrificed himself, has he? God, that close up was intense. Does he have to touch the floors for it to actually work? Oh, okay. I'm getting a little bit like more combat vibes with those fireballs coming out of their hands. Too late. Your battle plans on their way to the Earth Kingdom. Good. That's what they wanted. Be prepared for your attack. But his contrast. He will redirect his forces. Rally the support of the other nation. And the entire world will turn their attention to the Earthbenders. You wanted us to know. That's a good bit of acting. You see it all in his eyes. We aren't the real target. My sights are set higher. You can tell which bits are green screen though, can't you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> it is our time. Oh shit! I was expecting him just to drop to the floor and just be a little bit burnt, but he's fucking proper char grilled. <laughs> this isn't about the airbenders. Oh, camera's dollying forward. The only one who could stand in our way. But the avatar is yet to be revealed. Which is why we have to kill them all. Interesting. See the way the camera's moving forward and tilting up at him. It tells me that he's powerful. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. For millennia. This is quite cool. A peace made possible by the avatar. With the ability to master all four elements, protect the delicate balance. Oh wow, okay. So they're badass then. Their spirit reborn into a new body eternal cycle. Since the death of the last avatar, the new incarnation yet to emerge. Fire Lord Sozin believes this is his moment to conquer the world. His first step to eliminate the next master of all four elements. An airbender becoming the avatar. What, and he's like a little boy, is he? Is that him? For an exposition dump, that's not bad. Normally with exposition dumps, they, they give you too much information that you can't remember. But that was short and sweet, straight to the point. You've got the four elements, someone controls it all, bad guy wants it. I get that, it's good. A lot of people go wrong with their expositions, they give you so much information, you can't, you don't remember that, you're not going to retain that. Another thing I want to bring up is the, the wigs in that, you know what I mean, it makes it look a bit cheap, but this actually looks pretty darn good. It's only the shitty backgrounds that made it look a bit weak, as in the green screen. Oh, is this him? Oh, he's got wealthy guy brows, isn't he? Oh, is that because he's got no hair, he's <laughs> really centrated. Oh, is that his name, Ang? Mate, this boy's flapping about like a kite. So my question is, can he control of them all four already? Or is he a wind user? Show off. <laughs> enjoying the bit. I quite like this, it's good. You skip training. You know I already know all this stuff. You may be more advanced than the others. There's much you have to learn. And believe it or not, there may come a day when you wish you'd spent more time with your teachers. Oh, that's quite sweet. Better go help set up. I like the way this is shot. Dude, I was like expecting like a dragon or a big ship. They're like floating fucking balls. That boy's reaction is wall cheese, isn't it? It's like, ah. I like the way it's filmed though. Cinematography. 
did you tell him? It wasn't the right time. We don't have the luxury. We need to go talk to the council now. It's got a very shallow depth feel, giving it more of a cinematic look. But if they pushed the Gaussian blow in the back because it is so green screened, because if you look there, you can see where the green screen starts. He is only 12. Our Lord Sozin is planning to attack the Earth King. And we need the Avatar. But there's much he still needs to learn about responsibility, expectation, sacrifice. If we send him away before he learns these things, he could fail to be everything we need him to be. Is he like the father figure, is he? The role of the Avatar is a heavy responsibility. Not meant for a child, but it is not our place. And I fear you've grown too close to Aang to see them. You can tell he's powerful just the way he's lit, that backlighting. It's, that, uh, it's got that really what I call the Netflix look. Very heavy contrast, very saturized, bit of a teal and orange look. Really nice black levels, low key lighting. Remember the last time I brought you here? When I got my tattoos? For some reason, I thought that was fucking face paint or something. That's a tattoo. <laughs> After Yang Chen's death came Kuruk. Of the water tribe, then Kyoshi of the Earth Kingdom, the Moku and the Fire Nation. The next avatar will once again be an airbender. Oh, it rotates, is it? You have always been special. You are the avatar. What they actually know, do they? Only the avatar can save the world. The world needs you, Aang. You to leave right away. Leave my friends? Leave home? Leave you? Oh, it's one of those stories, is it? It'd be a huge burden for anyone. If you're not just anyone, Aang. You're strong. He's doing good for like a kid actor, isn't he? Like, he, like he's believable. Always remember who you are. See where his eye sockets move. Like they strain. It's good director's note, says. I don't want the power. Which is why you will make a great avatar. Yeah, I was just going to say that. People that don't want the power always end up being the good ones. Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? Oh. You are my friend. Made my eyes water a little bit then. Same as the old boy. You'll always be my friend. That was a nice little exchange between them two. Sometimes dialogue with the right music can really set off loads of emotion. You've got to look at it, music is, you want to treat it right, you have to treat it as a character music, and it's a character that speaks directly to us, the audience. And that's beautiful. It wasn't like overpowering, it was just perfect. Hey, Abba. The fuck? Yatso says I'm supposed to be the Avatar. Are we supposed to save the world? Oh, it is a bison. The other kids always say I'm lucky, but I trade places with any of them. I don't want the responsibility. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. I can't work out if that looks good or not. It's either my lighting is so bright it's making it look better than it is. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Sometimes the CGI can really sort of let it down. I'm a big fan of like proper animatronics. I'm showing my age now. But like trying to do that in animatronics would just, it would look really fake, wouldn't it? That's what they don't want to do now. That's why they they push this this heavy CGI look. So in the cartoon or, or TV show, do they, because this seems like quite rushed. All this information that we're getting, he's already been told he's an air bit, um, the Avatar. Remember, no survivors. Oh, are they on the, in on the city, are they? <laughs> As they're <laughs> walking through his Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Fucking... Even though that was Raiden. So he's fucked off, is he? Have a little joyride with his bison. And he's going to come back and they're all going to be dead, are they? Okay, we're doing that, are we? The old ringing in the ear. Bit of slow motion. Yo! Mate, I give him that. This looks great. That's what I don't like about anime adaptions. They look shit and fake. This actually looks really good. Yo! It's going to be one of those things, isn't it? That he's suffered loss. And then he's going to grow from this. So would the fire benders struggle against water? Mate, I'm loving this Hong Kong style martial arts. I mean, it's, it's a dance, isn't it? Yeah? Well, a lot of Hollywood action. It's all done up close. You can't see shit. At least I can see everything. So he's saying he didn't want to be alone, and he's going to be alone now, isn't he? I assume they're all going to die. Or he's going to believe that they've died. Oh, mate. But they reckon that boy would have done saved them all, do they? Mate, this is wild. Yeah, give him that, though. Let's see, Jai. Okay, I'll take it back. Oh my god, that was like a fatality. Well, it was a fatality, but like out of Mortal Kombat. Finish her. Oh shit, he turned into ash. <laughs> oh, I'm putting too much pressure on that boy, though. That's probably why he felt like he had to escape. 
Go on, son. <laughs> oh, that general is something else, isn't he? Of course, he just burnt through it, didn't he? We have the power of the comet. What's that comet got to do with it? Oh, shit. Now he's awoken. In my mind, I was like, I bet he's about to drown and then the fucking water bender thing happened and it just took control over him. Hey, was his head going to pop up or something? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Man, give him that, that music. This music is lovely, isn't it? Like, that looks really fake as fuck, doesn't it? But you know what? I don't mind. I really don't mind. Is she the character? Is really close friends with him. Aang just can't control her power. And then she's, like, ridiculously powerful. Just hidden. It's hidden talent. Two people at all times, meaning twice as many ships. Is there a problem? Didn't think so. Okay, back to your duty. That's the only bit that looks a bit fake. Do you remember earlier when I was talking about the costume design and hair pieces? They look a bit too clean. Like, I can tell this is a green screen set. <laughs> Katara! But that looks bloody good. Look at that. You were waterbending again, weren't you? No one could see me. Fire Nation finds out you are waterbending? No one from the Fire Nation has approached the village in years. Besides, an otter penguin could bend more water than I could. Can, can they not use their powers? We're at war. Waterbending is what built our culture. Keeping it alive is our duty. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. It's because of what? The fire? Fear them. Why that music build up hope? Dum, 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 dum. You see what I mean about this plastic look? This this costume It's a bit too clean. Like, he's, he doesn't look like he's been living in a fucking tribe in the Antarctic, whatever it is, for years. It's just too clean looking. I had some film grain or something on there. It's just too clean. And that's the problem with like a digital age now. It's the imagery can look too clean. But maybe that's why they've done it to really show you a difference with dark that we've had to the light that we've had or having now. You okay? Oh no, oh no, that's not good. What is that? That's called my boat fucking off. That's what that's called. Oh, weird. <laughs> is he inside that, is he? Is that his ball? That's quite a cool design. It's very industrial, but it's got that, that Chinese sort of mythology look to it in the aesthetic or the design. I I could float over in some ice. Oh, she's off again, is she? Uh, I quite like the idea of it, though. It's very, um, reminds me of this. F oh. Oh, is it a warning on the old fire? That's quite nice. Camera dollied a little bit forward. He ran into it, as in the focus pulled. Oh, does he shit always glow then, does it? <laughs> Why he came down? He was all stiff. Nice, we're not gonna die. Come on, let's go home. Whoa, what are you doing? You're not thinking of leaving him. Glowy iceberg just exploded. Like, look how clean their outfits are. You know what I mean? Great, let's bring him home. He's just a kid. Looks like it's literally straight off the fucking wardrobe rack. Why listen to me? I'm just responsible for safety of the village. I feel this is like the Nickelodeon children vibe going on. But then again, they're showing like dead bodies in that, like getting like fucking toasted. So why spoil it? Oh, is that his, his, um, his animal? Can't be. What is it, Grand Grand? This is an airbender. Airbenders don't exist anymore. We won't get any answers until he wakes up. We need to let him rest. This is the thing when you get like children dramas. Like it can be really good. But it's normally the adult scenes that really pull that con that connection. It gets a little bit like children's drama. It's a bit, it gets a bit silly. You know what I mean? Like Power Rangers. Even though it was good when you were younger. Watching it now is a bit like, okay. I chased down every hint, every rumor. Prince Zuko, I don't think your father... My father banished me until I find the Avatar. It's hard to see you get your hopes up. Now look at this, okay? Grainy, dark lighting. Gritty. It looks more believable. You could have done that in the snow area, dim the light in a bit more, or add more grain texture. It may not have been for you, but for me, it's my destiny. <sighs> is that thing dead now? Is that like just is that that was that, was that the ice cube? I'm not gonna lie, that tattoo is pretty fucking dope though, isn't it? Maybe not on the forehead. As if they would ignore him. Your training? What did I say about keeping your guard up? <laughs> I'm not Banman. I'm A. Where am I? How did I get here? You tell me. Appa? Where's Appa? Sokka. Have you seen him? Yeah, that's not strange at all. Appa! He is an airbender. Could you imagine seeing that shit or you having the power to do that? Have you seen Appa? My sky bison? Six legs. My sky bison. Sky bison. Sky bison. Repeating it doesn't help. 
Oh, there he is. Now that does look good. Oh shit, that looks really good. It's almost got like a little bit of a wholesome feel to it, isn't it? The weather went crazy just after I left home. The Southern Near Temple, the Great Comet Festival. Great Comet Festival. Look at this smoke, this haze that they've got. It gives you texture in your shots. It makes it look more believable. It doesn't look so fake as in the sets. Four nations live together in harmony. Then everything changed. Whoa, that's a crazy Dutch angle. Only the Avatar could stop them. Oh yeah, he doesn't know yet, does he? He vanished. Fire Nation laid waste. Airbenders haven't been seen. The Southern Air Temple, the first to fall. Trapped in that ice. 100 years. Hey! Last airbender. Sorry, did I just get it right? He's been trapped in that fucking ice cube for 100 years. Our mission, vital to the future of the Fire Nation. So we will find the Avatar. We will prove ourselves worthy. And we will see our homes and families again. Or we will die trying. That's baffled me. I can't work out if he's been asleep for 100 years or it did come up and I didn't notice it because I was talking about filmmaking. But that's really interesting. If it is... 100 years. All my friends? Yeah. Everyone I know, they're all gone. Believe me, I know how hard it is to lose the people you love. Well, to be fair, they all died anyway, didn't they? It's not like they died of old age. When I was little, I didn't really understand the war until the night the firebenders came. So what, the firebenders own everything, do they? They rule a lot. Our father set out with the other warriors to hunt down the firebenders. He had left Sokka in charge when he just turned 13. Because he had to grow up fast. We all did. I like the dirty framing on that. When they're talking, they're conversing. Fire Nation has conquered most of the world. But the waterbenders are still fighting back. And the Earth Kingdom is still holding strong. I had friends in the Fire Nation. I used to visit them. No one visits other nations now. Only friends with their own kind. <laughs> Yeah, man, that looks good. Your skills have never been sharper. Now, how about a nice cup of jasmine tea? <laughs> Say we find the Avatar, a mission believed to be impossible. That's been a lot of time in this guy, aren't they? Is he going to convert? Type like a good guy. You're wrong. Maybe not. No one comes here. It's quiet. Thing is, though, he's the Avatar, but he has no idea how to use these other powers yet, does he? Or is it just instinct just happens? You're a waterbender. I'm trying to get better, but I'm the only waterbender left in the southern. Sokka doesn't like it when I practice. He's worried. Fire Nation will find out. Mm. I'm the only waterbender left in the village. They've killed all the others. Sokka just doesn't understand. He's probably naive, isn't he? Well, he's 12, so. Bending is about energy. Feeling the energy around you. Finding balance. Feel the energy. I like I like him as a little actor. He's got proper slappage. <laughs> but I like him. It's good. Like, he's believable. And that's hard for me to connect with with children actors, unless they're like, you know what I mean? Nice! I wasn't even trying. Oh. Alright, here we go. Sokka, the Fire Nation! I know. Get your post now. Sokka, the racks, get them loaded. Can that boy fight? Obviously, I know he can do all this fucking fancy flying, but we haven't actually seen him have a fight yet, have we? What could they possibly want? Yeah. He's more than the last airbender. You are the Avatar. I bet you anyway, there's an episode later on where he hates the idea of being this Avatar. This hates having his power. When the world needed the Avatar the most, he ran, people died. Man, he didn't know shit, did he? He was out having a cruise on his bison. He got fucking dinked by a wave. That was cool. Considering that part of that was CG and then they pulled focus. We have no desire to take your home. We merely seek someone, someone who is not one of you. And the little rocks. You can't give him to He them. doesn't belong here. Dad told me to protect the village. Yes, but remember what mom told us too. She said that we have to protect those who can't protect themselves. You notice the camera's a lot more shaky now. He's the avatar. And he lied to us. I know how hard this responsibility has been for you. It's about losing control. You have to give people something to live for. He's hope. And we need that just as much Ooh. as we need food and shelter. Do a little zoom in there. See, the camera is stabilised now because they've gained control within the character or within the world setting that they are. A lot of people don't really think about that when it comes to camera movement. Like, that was a massive uh, tracking motion shot there, but yet it was quite stable, wasn't it, yeah? It was on a stabiliser or a gimbal or some description. But when they were, when they were conversing, it was like, oh, it was really handheld. The camera was going with them, and that's why. I'm Sokka, son of Dakota, lord of uh, snow and ice. <laughs> I demand that you leave immediately. If this is the path you've chosen, then so be it. Let's sell this between us. You really need an army? I thought you firebenders had some guts. Mate, that looks like one of those fucking sticks that you lob a dog's ball on. <laughs> Literally does, doesn't it? Who needs an army now? Do you mean all these children battles? Leave 
And he's doing alright, isn't he? Oh, look at that for a Dutch angle. Enough games. Burn the whole place to the ground. No! I'll go with you. Leave him alone. I'm the one you're looking for. Ooh. Wait. It's okay, Katara. No one has ever fought for me before. I think you're the bravest person I've ever met. Oh, that was nice. These little dolly movements forward. Really pushing on the character's emotions. So, I mean, about all these being kids, it's just hard to believe, isn't it? Like, beginning, it was more adult base and it was really believable you really are drawn into the world i get that it's a nickelodeon show originally and stuff like that i get that Sokka, we have to help him you're in charge okay off we go let's go save that weird kid that weird kid <laughs> that weird kid i like that there are many who never imagined this day would ever come myself included can i ask you something i got that film grain on it i'm iro why did the fire nation start this war drive to conquer peace comes from respecting life not killing and destroying. But in the end, for most of us, it doesn't matter how this war started. I like that character. He's the teacher, isn't he? By capturing you, Fire Nation can finally bring that about. Is that what you believe? I did. I must leave. I'll have some jasmine tea sent to you. It's quite soothing. They're interested in these characters because they're there for us to immediately get drawn into. We learn the world through them. Mate, that's a, that's a handy ability. And they wouldn't have heard that, no? <laughs> Fucking rattling keys. It won't be easy to catch them. We could go another way. You're not serious. There's a no way you're getting me on that. I thought so. Jumping on that dirty buffalo, are they? How does she know how to ride it, though? But again, see what I mean with the low-key lighting? It looks more believable, doesn't it? It's this noise, darkness, the contrast. Obviously, you can't have that in all the other light key moments. But there is things that you can do in your films to do that. To push the, the realness of it. I fucking knew that. My eye went straight over there. They they lured me in. I was like, hang on a minute, why are they got that in the frame? And then they pulled the focus. Mate, this must have cost, cost a mint, this show. The fuck? Okay. I was like, surely he's going to miss that. Not just fly. No, earlier on he was flapping about, or is it because he had that stick thing? Steer the buffalo to the left. Did she do that? Nice. All right. Okay. So now he's like, oh shit, I've got two of them to deal with. She's going to be a beast with that water, isn't she? I wonder how many episodes we got to get to before he starts becoming the real avatar, using all this shit that he's learning. Can't believe you guys came for me. Thank you. Firebenders aren't going to give up. They're going to keep coming after you. Which means we can't go home. It would put everyone in danger. This looks a bit daft though, doesn't it? Him just flapping about in the sky. God, that's beautiful though, isn't it? That scenery. I quite like this. I was never expecting a time jump when I started watching this. But it's a fantastic way for us to learn with him as a character. He's learning how the world has changed and that, ed that educates us as well. But it also allows your protagonist to evolve nice little god rays in there giving us a bit of texture in our shots oh mate he's jaw like that's that's a bit that's tough in it oh shit i thought that was gonna happen I mean, if this was star wars he'd be into the dark side right now Come on, remember that, remember that life lesson. That looks well trippy. You will always be my friend. Why does that look so sheer? Is it because he's like pretty much full CGI? Falls to the floor, cut to black. Oh no. Oh good, we're getting a bit of character development. Oh, that's me, you got to remember, isn't it? He's like, he's fucking 12 years old. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. So much I don't know. I'm all alone. The thing about losing everything, that's when you learn how strong you really are. It's when you learn to fight. They made the ultimate sacrifice for me. I need to make sure they're desperate in vain. Complete my training so I can bring balance back to the world. Oh, is that all? This was my home. Now it's gone. That sound even looked well weird. That looks like they did that in post-production. Bit of ADR. Automated dialogue replace. As in you, you, you do it in post-production and redub it. I don't know where this will all lead, and I don't know if I have what it takes. But the one thing I do know is, I'm the Avatar. Okay, that's a step forward. 
Nice, bravo. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So what do I think? Do you know what? Mate, I'm not even kidding. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. Considering that's my first ever experience with the Avatar the Airbender universe, should we say. I really enjoyed that. Normally I struggle when it comes to adap adaptations of an anime or a cartoon to real life. It Because it one, it looks fake as in the aesthetic, the costume design, the green screen, it just looks really shit. But do you know what? That shocked me. I really enjoyed that. It had sort of martial arts in there. It had superpowers. I just, I enjoyed it, but it, it visually looked good and it complemented the story. But what did I take away from it? What I really liked was the visual language of it. I love the contrast. I love the, the America look, the Netflix look. Heavy on the contrast, quite good on the low-key lighting full of color i love that shit that to me is the hollywood look that's what i want when it comes to productions the british look it used to be i don't know about so much now but it used to be very stripped in color that was very uh, a very prime visual aesthetic or, or a visual look to it that did look like a bit of a tv show hollywood experience but that is what i want when i watch these tv shows i thought the cgi was really good uh, there was sometimes i was a bit oh that looks a bit nasty it was more in the background. The background is where it normally suffers, as in you'll get your talent up front and the background looks absolutely naff. But most part of it looked really good in that. And the reason being is because it was a low key lighting, heavy on the contrast. Or they kept, they told you earlier on, as in they were filming it shallow, as in the depth of field, blurry backgrounds, your subject in focus, it made you not look so much at the background and that's kind of how you get around it costume design as in the props and all the other stuff so hair pieces and all that i thought that looked great as well the tattoos looked fantastic the only costumes that looked a bit shit was the winter the the water bender people and that's only because their costumes looked a bit too clean i know they're in snow and things like that but you'd think they'd weather them a little bit more make it a little bit more believable and the problem is because it was such high key lighting as in it was so bright it was more on the high key i would say yeah there was contrast and the low-key look, it emphasised that they were clean and they wasn't as weathered as the other costumes. When it comes to acting and things like that, I thought they did really well. Considering I'm not a very big fan of these children dramas, which a lot of it was, let's be realistic. They're the only bits I was a bit, like, oh, a bit negative on. However, it wasn't so bad that I wouldn't watch another episode. As I said, I would quite happily probably watch some more episodes of that and enjoy it and get invested in the characters. And that was mainly down to the lead uh, protagonist. In, or Aang's character. I thought that actor was fantastic. He really sold it in his eye movement. Because bear in mind, how you describe or show emotion is here. And it makes it worse because he's got no hair to flick around or anything like that. So he really is on his detail. He had a lovely set of gnashes, didn't he? So when he smiled, he looked very innocent and gave that wholesome look. But overall, I thought that actor's ability and his range was quite good. The only actor I don't like and I haven't grown to at the moment, I think there's two that are quite weak is the, the son of the fire god person, the one with, it looks like he's got a birthmark. He's a little bit stiff, as in, I think it's his facial expression or his range. It looks a bit naff. I haven't sold into that character yet. And the other one is the water bender, the, the head of the clan. That boy just looks like he's made of plastic. I don't know what it is that they're doing. Dirty that bastard up and he'll look, or even his hair's a bit loose. I don't know what it is. He needs something to make him look like he lives in this world and he isn't just taken out of a fucking cardboard box with plastic wrapping and thrown into this world. And lastly, when it comes to camera movements and things like that, I really like the visual language of it. Beautifully shot, love the lighting, lots of texture in there when it comes to smoke and the CGI mixed with the martial arts and it's proper martial arts. It's Hong Kong style. I can see what's going on. These beautiful dances and as well with the VFX as well, chef's kiss. I thought that was really well done. And yeah, I would happily watch some more episodes of that. And there you are, that's my mini review, if you want to call it that. I really enjoyed this show, considering it was a pilot and pilots have a lot of hard work to do. You know, they've got to draw you into the world, tell you about the world building, as well as introduce all these new characters to you and that you've got to connect with. They, it did a bloody good job, I thought, but I hope you learned quite a bit about filmmaking. Was, I actually spoke quite a bit about the filmmaking because I could see it so I can talk about it. But yeah, I hope you learned quite a bit and I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye. Out of time!